Sheikh Moza bint Nasser is one of the three consorts of Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa Al Thani, the former Emir of the state of Qatar. The royal couple has five sons and two daughters. Her second born, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, is present Emir of Qatar. Let's have a look at this lady's amazing style moments. Don't forget she is 63. Timeless style of Sheikh Moza. I was checking vintage YSL Haute Couture collections and these Moroccan cape looks caught my eyes from 1988 collection, because Sheikah happened to style her look in Morocco in the same fashion. We know YSL was heavily inspired by Morocco and even spent many years there. Sheikah Moza with Crown Princess Victoria of Sweden in September 2018. Shika was wearing a green Ronald van der Kemp Haute Couture dress from 2018 Haute Couture collection. Shika Moza attended a women-only banquet reception when the Jordanian royal wedding comes to an end. She dazzled in a stunning lace gown from Valentino Fall 2014 Haute Couture collection. She styles it with some serious mesmerizing blinks. Sheikha looked absolutely sensational in bold red-orange Valentino haute couture gown. Her jewelries were outstanding, all by Bacciolati Milan including the earrings and two bracelets. Sheikha Moza never fails to impress us, here she is the designated vintage queen at the Jordanian royal wedding yesterday wearing a head-turning archive look including this Valentino's fall 1989 couture evening coat inspired by Viennese architect Joseph Hoffman and paired with a voluminous black gown, turban specially made by Stephen Jones millinery and gorgeous earrings by Lorraine Schwartz. The original coat was in clean white with black lines, Sheikah's custom-made piece is in light pink with matching heels. Sheikah's lime green gown is absolutely smashing, also nothing exactly like hers on the runway. But let me confirm you that Sheikah is wearing a Valentino gown customized from Fall 2021 Haute Couture collection. It is a yellow ball gown on the runway. Sheikah turned it into a fully covered Hollywood star-like gown with matching headscarf. Her bracelet on her right wrist is based on the design Cartier made it in 1930 with diamonds and crystals. Originally sold to Hollywood movie star Gloria Swanson in 1930s. Hers is a toned-down version of the original bangle with some minor changes. Chanel Haute Couture tweed suit with beautiful gold diamond ruby earrings from Bacciolati Milan. She looked absolutely fabulous in Chanel Haute Couture fringed tweed dress, matching Chanel bag and brace yourself, look at those diamond gold jewelries on her wrist and finger. Sheikah Moza was looking beautiful in all black with touch of gold and Alexander Calder necklace from 1940. Here Shika was an exquisite black and red tailored Armani Pride Haute Couture suit from the Spring 2019 collection. Shika is rocking a pair of stunning diamond earrings by Masafe Jewelers and an Armani Pride gown. We have identified another piece of jewelry, Shika Moza was wearing, the Diamond Rose Van Cleef and Arpels brooch. This Van Cleef Arpels Dane of the brooch was inspired by Haute Couture. Sheikah was wearing an elegant white dress from Valentino Resort 2017 collection. If you have a good memory then you probably remember she actually wore the red dress during the World Cup just this December. Sheikah looked beautiful in light blue Carvin Haute Couture dress from the Carvin Fall Winter 2008 collection by Pascal Millet. She wore it for the first time on her official visit to Singapore in 2009. Later she repeated the dress on her visit to the Imperial College London in 2011. Shika was literally dazzling in this breathtaking Jean Louis Scherer Haute Couture Captain from the Spring Summer 2005 collection. I guess she thought it wasn't enough bling on the gown and added stunning gold jewelry such as the Bacciolati Milan earrings and bracelet on her right hand, stash of David Webb bracelets on her left hand.
Shika Moza was wearing the Chomet Diamond Wings tiara brooches from 1907. The tiara consists of a frame surmounted by a pair of wings, feathers closely set with diamonds, and patches of translucent blue enamel. They are adjustable to any angle and can be taken off the frame to wear as brooches, individually or as a pair. The motif was inspired by the winged helmets worn by the Flying Valkyries in the operas of Richard Wagner. In 1907, the tiara was bought by the Duke of Westminster from Chomet that year. Shika is indeed wearing a beautiful black lace abaya from Dolce & Gabbana's line of high-end abaya collection launched in 2016. As you can see the main lace style, frame and design slash flowers are the same only some changes are made with the embroidery. Shika Moza is wearing this beautiful Cartier Tutti Frutti necklace at the Doha Jewelry Watch Exhibition. Queen of Elegance is in the house. One more photo of Shika in that fabulous Christian Dior windowpane haute couture dress in Kyoto 2014. Here she wore a baya from a seat boutique carrot. She always supports local businesses. Direlicious. Shika Moza looks absolutely elegant in black and white embroidered Christian Dior haute couture gown from spring-summer 2012 collection by Bill Gaiden. It was a combination of two runway dresses. Shika Moza was wearing stunning black and white pearl necklaces by Robert Wong. The long necklace is made of Tahitian pearls. Shika Moza was wearing these magnificent set of Bogossian jewel sapphire diamond jewelries. The vibrant color and size of the sapphires is just breathtaking. Shika Moza looks absolutely stunning in this beautiful floral Oleana Sergienko haute couture dress from the fall 2017 collection. And a custom-made Albida crocodile leather clutch. Shika looked absolutely beautiful in a fabulous floral Gucci trench coat and dress from the pre-fall 2019 collection.